Hello everyone, my name is Regret. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'm going to make a simple and easy Mushroom farm for you and your worlds. This farm works for 1.19.70 and also works for Xbox, PlayStation, the tablet, phone, and Nintendo Switch, and PC. And if you guys are interested, there'll be a full materials list down in the description of the video and also a materials list in the comment section as well people can comment and if you guys enjoy this video and it helps a lot you can always consider hitting like button and subscribing if you want to see more helps a lot and i really do appreciate it and let's hop right into today i'm going to make the sale and easy mushroom farmer here now this farm it gives around eight stacks of beef per hour and around four stacks of leather per hour and how this farm works is you go in ahead and you just afk right here in this area and then going ahead when you're afking there the mushrooms will go ahead and spawn on top of this platform as you can see right here and then they'll go on ahead and wander off and they'll see these trap doors as solid blocks and they'll go and walk off as you can see right there the water will go and push them and then they'll go ahead and fall into this hole get caught into the lava and start catching on fire. And then when they hit the, the bottom into the kill chamber, they'll go on ahead and die when they hit the bottom here. And then you'll get your cooked beef and your leather as well, as you can see right here. And to get started building the farm today, you're obviously going to need a mushroom island, uh, just big enough to hold kind of a farm this size right here, as long as, you know, big enough probably to hold a farm like this size. Uh, just make sure, you know, if it's really small, it uh, has great water around, it might be able to go ahead. As long as it's big enough to probably hold something like this, you should be good to go. I know there's some big ones out there like this one right here, and then there's some small mini ones out there, and it's hard to find them. So go ahead and find yourself a mushroom island, and then once you have, and go ahead and pick yourself a nice a good flat spot. Once you have found your spot where you want to build your farm, go ahead and start by placing the 50 blocks. Go ahead and do one, two, three. Once you have gone up 50 blocks, go ahead and place a block right here. Two blocks right here. Go ahead and place four blocks right here, making this a five total, counting this block right here. Go ahead and fill this in all the way right here. And just go ahead and make a nice flat platform. Go ahead and place over here in this area. As you can see the pillar right here on the side. Go ahead and place two blocks right here. Two blocks here. Two blocks here. And one block right there. If you guys want to, you can place a torch here and a torch here to kind of light up the area if you guys want to. And then go on ahead over here. Go ahead and place four blocks back here in this area. Go and place three blocks right here, three blocks right here, a double chest right here. Go and grab your hoppers. Go and play. Go and crouch and place a hopper here, 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 and here. So make sure these two hoppers are facing to these hoppers, and these hoppers are facing into the chest. Make sure the nozzles all going in this direction. That way, all the items go into the chest. Go we'll go over here in this area. It's time to place your ladders. Now you can do ladders. You can do vines. You can do scaffolding, you can do bubble columns, whatever you guys prefer. I'm going to do ladders, that's why I kind of always do, go ahead and just do ladders. But you guys can do vines, scaffolding, uh, bubble columns, whatever you guys want. And just go ahead and just make your little elevator or ladders going clear up to the top here. And then you can go over here in this area. And you can go 19 blocks up, uh, starting from here. So go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And after you're done going ahead and doing that, you're going to go all the way around over here in this area. You're going to go ahead and crouch, place four glass right here. That way you can go ahead and see inside the farm. And you can go ahead and open the chest still. And then go on ahead and you go all the way up to the top, all the way around here. So you can go ahead and place blocks going all the way up. 19 blocks up total. Go ahead and place blocks above this. Going all the way around, clear up to the top to go ahead and even out with that pillar right there. So go ahead and go all the way around this right here. Make a tube going 19 blocks up total. Clear to the top there. Once you're done going 19 blocks up all the way around, your tube should be looking like this. Then go over here in this area and go ahead and place 7 blocks out this way. Adding 7 blocks. Go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you should have a 7 block bridge right here. And then 1 block here making it to where it's 8 total because water can only travel eight blocks and then go over here add some blocks so one two three four five six seven and then also one two three four five six seven on this side as well and then also one two three four five six seven over here as well and then after you're done with that go on ahead and you're gonna go connect these up real quick so you going to connect these up and uh, also if you guys want to make sure to double check these are seven out uh, just make sure you didn't mess up on any of them. And just go ahead and connect them up on each one of these sides. And you're going to go fill the middle of them. Make it just a flat 
a plate of blocks and it's going to do that all sides right here go ahead and connect them up fill the middles in and make sure they fill up on all sides after you're done with that your farm should be looking like this and then go over here in this area go and place a block right here block here block here two blo blocks right there and then go over here do the exact same thing go and place a block here block here block here two more blocks right there and do it on all sides go and place a block right here go and place two blocks there two blocks there and it also over here in this last corner here going to just place obviously the block there two blocks there and two blocks there then going ahead and connect these up by going placing a two block wall a high wall here going to place two blocks high all the way around making a wall rolling all the way around this could be good for victoria can hold the water and victoria can put the water down to push the mission into the farm so you can go around here and make this two tall all the way around after you're done with that, go on ahead and your farm should be looking like this. Go and grab your water and go and place water sources on top of these blocks right here in the corners. And go all the way around over here, placing on four corners. And then go over here in this area. Now make sure not to place block any water sources here or here on the corners of these blocks. You don't want to do that. So go make sure there's no, no water source gets placed here or here on any of the sides. Just make sure you go ahead and place it over here, one block over. So make sure you have water here. No water here, and then water right here. Going all the way and go keep placing water on all these blocks. Clear to here. Don't place water here. Place water here. Don't place water right there. Don't place water going clear across all the way to the end. Place it right here. Don't place it right there. Place it right there. Don't place it right there. They might place water going all the way across this wall, all the way to over here as well. Also, you don't keep not placing water here. Water right there. Don't place water right there. Go and place water going clear across here all the way to the end and stop right there. No water there or there and water right there. After you're done with that, your water should all go to the middle and stop. If you've done it correctly, it should all stop right here and should not go in or anything like that. Also, real quick, go on ahead and place two blocks right here, two blocks right here, and two blocks right here. I like it to where you get a little dry little spot right here, real quick. And then you're gonna go ahead and you go ahead and uh, break four blocks down. So one, two, three four and then go ahead and grab your signs and your lava and go ahead and place two signs right here and then two signs right here right at the block level where you're standing on so you go four blocks down and then you go and place the signs right here where your where you, the block you're standing on right here at this level and then go on ahead and block up real quick and a couple blocks go ahead and place your lava source in any one of the corners doesn't really matter just place one lava bucket right there if you've placed the four signs correctly just push four signs down it should hold the lava making sure it doesn't go down it just stays there and that way when the mushrooms fall they'll catch on fire and you get your cooked food now if you just want raw beef and leather then don't put the lava there you don't need to put the lava there but if you want your cooked uh beef and your leather then go ahead and put that lava there so then after you know that you'll break these blocks and the water should return back to what it was before and then you're gonna go over here in these corner areas over here go over here in this area and go out seven blocks go ahead and place one two three four five six seven and don't place any blocks here in these corners just place it right here and then go over here in this area go place seven blocks as well one two three four five six and seven and then go over here on this side you want to place seven as well so go and place one two three four five six seven and then over here as well one two three four five six and seven and then after you're done with that just go ahead and make some bridges out here going some blocks as well and kind of just align them up right there with this the other ones you made and go ahead and connect them up and just do this all the way around so go ahead and just go, go some blocks out align it up with your other pillar right there and then go ahead your bridge right here and then go ahead and connect it up and just keep going all the way around all four sides and then go ahead and fill them in so once you go ahead and go some blocks out on these two corners here connect them up fill them in and all these sides around that your farm should be looking like this you should have all four of your platforms on each side going seven blocks out eight blocks total counting the original little wall right here that holds the water in and stuff like that and it should be eight blocks tall with including that because we're going to travel eight blocks then go over here and in this area go ahead and place a block right here and go ahead and place two blocks right here break that block and go ahead and do this on every single corner so go ahead and place a block two blocks right there break that block Go over here, block, two blocks, break the block, and do that on all the corners over here in these areas. And after you're done with that, go on ahead and just go ahead and connect all these up. Going ahead and doing a one block tall uh, wall of blocks going all the way around. So just go ahead and place a layer of blocks going all the way around, connecting all of these up. This makes where it holds the water that pushes the mushrooms. Go all the way around, do that. 
and after you've done that go over here in this area and go on ahead and go to this corner and go one two then on the third block go ahead and place a block right there and then go after that go and add three more blocks above that making it four blocks total go ahead and place a mycelium block on the fourth block right here and instead of any temporary blocks i'm going to break these three temporary blocks underneath and then go over here on the side going in towards the farm and go ahead and place three more blocks and then go over here in this area go ahead and place my ceiling going all the way down here towards the end to where there's two blocks left away from the wall so you'll have your mycelium block right here you'll have two blocks right here and then you'll have the wall right here so go ahead and just keep placing my ceiling blocks through to get to the end and there's two blocks right here wall right there my ceiling right there then place three blocks over here and go ahead and connect this up right here and then go ahead and place two blocks right here two blocks right here making a two by two area on both of these sides right here they go ahead and place two my ceiling right here two right here and that should make two more two by twos right here in these areas as well and just do that to the rest of these sides right here go on ahead go over here in this area go to the corner go ahead and count one two three on the third block i'm going to place three temporary blocks fourth block place mycelium go and break the three temporary blocks right there go ahead and place three mycelium blocks right here go ahead and place blocks going all the way to the end clear to you have two blocks left away from the wall so you have the mycelium two blocks and then the wall then go ahead and place three blocks right here and then to go over here in this area and go ahead and connect that up place two blocks right here two blocks right here, making a two by two area right here Go ahead and place two blocks here, make a two by two area right there. Then place two blocks, two blocks, making two more two by two areas. Just make sure these platforms are two blocks away from the wall. So you have your mycelium, two blocks, and then the wall on all three of these sides right here. This side does not matter. Just make sure on these sides, it's two blocks spaced out from the wall. And go on and do the exact, exact same thing you guys did with these two right here. Go and do them on those two sides as well. After you're done doing the other two sides, your farm should be looking like this. And after you know that, go on ahead, go over here to one of these sides, go on ahead and place two temporary blocks right here, a mycelium block right there. Go on this other side over here, go ahead and place two temporary blocks right there, mycelium block right there. Go over here, do the exact same thing over here, go ahead and place two temporary blocks, mycelium block, go ahead and place two temporary blocks over here, and a mycelium block right here. Then go on ahead and connect all these mycelium blocks up, so go ahead and make a row of blocks going over here to the corner and then go ahead and connect it up to this mycelium block right here go ahead and go all the way around just making a big box and go ahead and connect all of these up going all the way around go to the corner go ahead and turn connect that up and then go ahead and connect this up too and it should make where you make one big square area here then you can go ahead and you can get rid of these temporary blocks there just to help you make it where you can get that square all made and everything on each side they can just show where there's two block space on each side then after you're done with that Go on ahead and go ahead and count one, two, three on the third block. Place a block right there and place a block right there. And then go on ahead and just go ahead and fill it up going clear across here. So go ahead and make a go ahead and make a bridge going clear across here. Filling all of this up, making it to where we're gonna make a grid, make it to where the mushrooms go ahead and spawn, and then they'll go ahead and fall down into the chamber. So go over here and do one, two, three, place my seam there and there. Go ahead and go go oh, fall clear across here. Placing my seal blocks all the way here. These have to be my seal blocks. Now the rest of the farm could be any kind of blocks you guys want. I'm just using deep slate brick. You guys can use cobblestone, stone, dirt, stuff like that. Any kind of solid block, you know, basically will do. Uh, but for here, these have to be mycelium or else the mushrooms won't spawn. As you can see, they're starting to spawn already. And they're already starting to fall into the water streams. And as soon as we get some water streams installed right here, they'll go ahead and get pushed right there as well. Uh, but we're making it to where that we haven't put the water in because that will make it a lot easier for you guys to go and get the platforms made. Mm -hmm. But anyways, go on ahead. After you're doing these two uh, little grid bridges right here, Go on over here in this area and go ahead and place another row right here. Make sure there's a two block space right here, two block space there and there. And then go over here and place another row right here, making it to where there's two block space on all these right here, two blocks separating them. Then go over here on the side, go ahead and turn and go on ahead and place four by seeing blocks right here, making a two by two grid. And then four right here as well, making a two by two. And just keep doing that all the way down here. Keep going ahead and placing a four by them in these spots. Make it to where there's a two by two grid on these side. And then go ahead and do exactly on the side as well. Go ahead and do one, two, three. Place my ceiling right there. And go ahead and do that all the way down here on this side as well. Making it a nice good grid. And then go on ahead and place two blocks here, 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 
in this area is going down like this and then also right here in this area as well I'll go ahead and make it a little small one by grid right here for the mycelium as well going the way down and afterwards you should have a grid looking like this then after you're done with that go on ahead and break these two blocks here these two blocks here break that block and place a mycelium block right here and then go on ahead and break these two here these two here one right there put one right there go on and break these two here these two here one right there one right there and then go on and break these two these two these two and then go and push one right there and that area and your grid should be looking like this your spawning grid for your mushrooms and now it's time to add your trap doors now this is the expensive part of the farm but this makes it where the farm actually works because the mushrooms spawn they see the trap doors as solid blocks and i think you can go ahead and next walk across here to the other side to see their buddies and they go ahead and fall into the board stream and then go down to the chamber and then you get your cooked beef and leather so go ahead and place trap doors on the side here on the top part of the block place them all along here and then go ahead and flip them down that way they actually go ahead and fall and then over here on these corners specifically go ahead and place two trap doors here place this down two trap doors here place them down and that'll make it to where they fall down and on these ones up here just go ahead and do the outsides as well going all the way around all the way around on each one of these platforms every single uh side of these platforms needs to have trap doors so go ahead and do this on all the platforms each side go ahead and place trap doors make sure to flip them down on all sides after you're done placing trap doors on all sides, just make sure you go ahead and go around here and make sure you place trap doors on every single side of these platforms. And after you do with that, you're going to go ahead and start placing trap doors in the 2x2 two two areas. That way the uh, mushrooms go ahead and fall into the 2x2 two two areas, making it to where they go, you know, have a chance of going and getting quicker into the water streams and making it to where more mushrooms can spawn so you have more rates per hour. So go ahead and place two trap doors here, flip them down. Two trappers here, put them down. So just go around here and go place two trappers here, two trappers here, put them all down, obviously, as well. And then go ahead over here on the side, keep doing that. Two by two right here, go ahead and place two of them, make sure on the top half slabs, top half of the blocks, and then go ahead and keep doing that. Just go on all sides, make sure you fill it in. And I'll think these as solid blocks, and think they can walk across here and you get to the other side and won't worry about it. And they'll go and fall down and go to the water streams and into the kill chamber. So go ahead and do on all of these ones right here. Go ahead and just keep doing that. Just go ahead and place two trap doors are here on the top half of the blocks flip them down and do on both sides and do that in the middle here as well just go ahead and place two trap doors here two trap doors here and then go ahead and flip them down and just do all of these platforms in this area and after you've done that you should have trap doors in every single one of these two by two areas making it to where the mushrooms can go ahead and fall and then go on ahead over here it's time to light up your farm because if you don't light up this farm at night time mushrooms will not spawn they need a little bit of light disorder to go ahead and spawn so go over here in this area and go on ahead and place a torch here place a torch here here and here and then go over here in this area do the exact same thing go ahead and place a torch here 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 and also here and just do it on all these other sides so go ahead and keep placing these torches right here in these areas and you should be able to go ahead and light these platforms up going on and lighting them up in these areas right here then go ahead and place a torch here go ahead and place a torch here 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 and this area no actually i don't have any trap doors and do that on all sides going to keep just placing torches here in these areas make it to where you place a torch right here going and line up right here torch right here going right there torch right there and torch right there and just keep doing all sides are here lighting it up or if you guys want to just go ahead and just place torches randomly and light it up just make sure it's all lit up that way the mushrooms can go ahead and spawn during day and at night time now you don't have to go and light this up for any hostile mobs because i'll see hostile mobs cannot spawn on mushroom islands but you will have to go ahead and just light up and make sure the mushrooms can spawn like over here in the middle area here in the middle area go ahead and place a torch here 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 and here and that should light up your entire farm and your spawning grid should be like this you're lighting up a torch grid should look like this and your farm should be looking like this and then go on and grab your water and the last step to the farm is to go over here in this area and go and place water on all these back blocks right here so go all the way across and place the uh, water water source blocks uh, all along the wall right here on the back block right here on the edges right here and go on and do on all of these sides and it should go clear to the edge if you did it correctly you count it correctly it should stop right here in this area and just keep doing it on all sides going right here in this area go and place water source all along the back block right here on these walls right here and go on and do it on this side right here go and place water source all along the wall right here as well and after you've done that your farm should be done and all good to go as you can see the mushrooms are going ahead and they are spawning and seeing that the trap doors are solid blocks 
and going and falling into the water streams. Uh, as you can see, right here, you do occasionally do gig like a mushroom. Going in and spawning right here in this area, you can always go ahead and fly up here and it casually push them in every once in a while. But it's, it's very rare for them to go ahead and stand there. And eventually, they just go ahead and uh, fall into the water streams and go into the clock system. But if you don't want that, you can always go ahead and you can build up a wall going past and higher than these spawning platforms. So when the mushrooms do fall, they go ahead and they fall in the washroom all the time and will never ever fall on these edges. But as I said before, it's extremely rare for them to fall on these edges. Usually you only find like one or two every hour, maybe on the wall right here. It doesn't really affect your rates. But if you guys do want to go ahead and you, you if you guys want to and you want to make sure you get the most rates in your farm, you can't go ahead and make a big wall going higher than these platforms here. And that way you have a wall right here that makes where the mushrooms always go ahead and they always fall into the water no matter what. Uh, no matter you know how many mushrooms spawn. Uh, but uh, other than that, all your farms should be done. All good to go. So you go ahead and just spawn here. See the trapdoors as saw blocks. And go ahead and just walk off. And they should go into the water streams. And then they should go down here into the collections area. And as you can see right there, they'll fall through the lava. And by the time they hit the bottom, they should go ahead and die from fall damage. And by, you know, getting lowered or down by the lava, the lower down the health. And as you can see right here, we already got 14 beef and 6 leather right here already. And if you go ahead and for an hour, as I said, you get around 8 stacks of beef per hour and around four stacks of leather per hour and uh yeah your farm should be done and all good to go hope you guys enjoy and build this farm in your world if you guys did don't forget to consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you want some more helpful i do appreciate it and have an awesome everyone